Hi there, it's Joanna here, and I am joined by my gorgeous client, Elena. Elena, a warm welcome. Come and introduce yourself and tell people what it is that you do in the world. Hello. Um, so I'm Elena. I'm an um, energy healer and a light whip priestess. And uh, so it means that I'm using the light whip to, in my healings. And um, I'm also a holistic coach and I live in Switzerland. Beautiful. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to have a little bit of a chat about Lightweb and it's been a bit of a journey and a half with you um, because you've been in Lightweb. How how long have you been in Lightweb now? It's been quite some time, isn't it? I think it's been almost five years. Um, yeah, it was in the autumn of 2018, so four and a half years, yeah. Amazing, amazing. What attracted you to Lightweb um, to start with? Because I'm thinking back in 2018, I probably was like, don't even know what I was describing back then because it was just quite new. And um, and I had just really received this download for Lightweb and I was just kind of finding my way with it as well. But what was it that kind hmm. of initially sort of called you to it? <laughs> Um, I think it was the numbers, you know, the repeating numbers that called. Um, I remember I was I was already your friend on social media, but I was really following you from from far away, not not so closely. And I remember one day I saw this picture you shared about your client who had uh, an image of the light web on her wall and I just couldn't stop looking at this this picture you know I was completely yes, amazed was. and and I didn't really I, I heard you talk about light web but I didn't understand what you were talking about to be honest and when I saw this picture I was like oh okay this is it and uh, then you were and so I, I started following you a little bit more and you were talking about numbers and how the repeating numbers are chasing us and they are calling us to light web. And, and actually when I, when I saw this, I, I was being chased by <laughs> numbers and I thought I was, I was losing my mind. Uh, like, you know, seeing every time I was looking at the clock, it was, it was eleven eleven, or it was three thirty three, or, um, and every time I had a, a bill or, um, a ticket, and I was at the supermarket paying, and it was five 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 five, you know, <laughs> and everywhere. All the cars that were passing me had repeating numbers on their plates. And I thought, okay, what's going on here? The universe was trying really hard to get your attention. It's like, hello. Yes. And I mean, if you're listening to this and you're resonating with these repeated numbers, the, we talk about this in Lightweb, but the language of the universe, the universal language of the universe, it is the only language that we as human beings didn't invent on this planet. It's the language of numbers. It was predates humanity. So it is the language of the universe. Um, it is a universal language, numbers. And so it's, it's 11, 11 here now. now. I'm I, like, <laughs> there we go 11 11 now <laughs> like I'm looking at the clock <laughs> this is it and this is the light web effect like this is when light web's calling you into this higher consciousness so you join this program and um I'm going to be fair to myself back in 2018 you probably had no idea what you were joining you were just like hey I'm doing this you've jumped in what was your first experience of your light web activation like? What was what was that like for you? Um, yeah. So to be honest, I was not what I called a psychic person before I, I started light web. 
and I didn't really know what I was expecting and I heard people saying oh it was an awakening I started you know being more intuitive and seeing things and and so I was secretly hoping that it happened to me too but it didn't on the first activation things changed yes it was it it was more the teachings that I really appreciated, but um, the activation started to be stronger at every time we did another another round. So mm-hmm. for me, it was it was really incremental, you know. But the teachings of Light Web really blew my mind on the first round. So the higher consciousness way of living, really. And yes, my intuition also started to improve. And uh, I started to communicate with guides and to meet new guides um, on light web. But it was not like instant. An instant, yeah, absolutely. uh, it, it was really after a few weeks and working with Lightweb and uh, after a few rounds, it get it got deeper and deeper. Amazing, amazing. This is something that a lot of people have said to us is that they love that they can come to all the rounds. So the way that we do Lightweb is you pay once and then that's you. You are in there. You're in there for life and you can come to all the live rounds and mm-hmm. you are obviously someone who's felt like I'm going to take advantage of this I'm going to go to these live rounds every time you go through light web tell people what it's a wee bit what it's been like for you going through light web not just once but multiple times well you you get always you get you get something new from the teachings depending on what you are uh, experiencing in your life at that time um, of course you know, you will get, you will still get through some uh, challenging times, but you will um, see them differently and learn from it differently. So that's, the year I joined, I was really lost. I was looking for clarity a lot. I was, it was the first year I started my business and um, I was really struggling with my mental health as well. And um, I was looking for an answer, uh, you know, like, what can I do and how? And I was going from coach to coach. And and, um, and when I found you that uh, at that time, uh, the end of the summer, um, I started really stopping listening to all the voices everywhere and I focused and I really had a a big reawakening um during that time so during the light with ground and and the weeks after um and it it brought me a lot of of clarity and spiritual growth should I say um so round after round um I was I was living something different and it really helped me um anchor the energy and um learn more and and develop really my my light web node <laughs> actually because as well some people know not everybody know but yeah the light web node changes with with us you know it started it started with a tiny um with a tiny dot and that we could barely stand on with our feet and 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 then it became like larger and larger and connected and a platform and it now it's just infinite i don't see the edges of it you know i have lots of things on it and and yeah, it doesn't feel like it feels more like a planet. <laughs> I, know. I love that. A note. Amazing. Amazing. Um, we've had a few people talk to us about the nodes and just saying what a deep sense of belonging that they have felt 
having that place in sort of time and space and um and you know when we light web activate you we connect we reconnect you to your what we call your light web node um and it is a place of infinite connection of where you are connected to everything in the universe and um what has been your experience of that light web node you talked about how your light web node was this itty bitty cutesy tiny little light web node and it's now expanding it almost feels like the size of the planet but has it been comforting to you to have that kind of space for you to be able to go there and that deep sense of belonging that comes with the light web node yes absolutely yeah and from the first time actually I felt like that sense of belonging on the first activation um it's as if but I it's something I really believe in is that we've been uh we've been on the light web before and it's calling us back yes and yes. it's calling us back and when, once we are back we feel like oh this deep sense of belonging and oh I'm back home you know and it's really really strong I love that because we've talked many times about how people don't really take light web as a course they're more called to take it as a course they're more called to the light web and we and we often say you know don't ignore that calling if you feel that calling then it's meant for you but if you don't have that calling then perhaps this is not for you um and I know that you definitely felt that calling and um, and I love how you described it. It's like it's calling you back. And it, I really got that sense as well the first time that um, I received my light web activation and I just felt like I was being called back to something very ancient. But there was definitely this memory of my soul of being connected to this technology before and having the access to this before. Um, tell us a little bit about, um, obviously in that first light web round, you, your mind was, cause everybody receives light web differently. So some people get this massive upgrade immediately into their intuition. Other people feel more empowered. Some people really just like the framework is where it's at and it just begins to upgrade their lives. Going through that framework um, and starting to have that shifts and things, how have you felt that that's helped you on a kind of like daily basis? Um, what are the things that, you know, that you've felt? And it's very hard because we talk about light web like a before and after event, and it's kind of hard to describe it to someone who isn't light web activated. I mean, that struggle is real for all of us. <laughs> yes, yes, it's, um, it really I think the thing that helped me the most was um, seeing things from a higher perspective from above and and understanding the agents, mm. the agents of the universe, which is part of the teachings, and um, that life is happening for me, you know, that all these things are happening for me. And um, so this was really, really helpful. But I'm going to be honest and say that in the really in the first weeks, the first round, all my <laughs> all my shit came up. And it's something I knew it was going to be for clearing, but it wasn't like magical and all is good. And and yes, I, I had a few um, weeks of feeling like not really well. And I knew that it was it was coming up for clearing. And um yeah, it was a little bit challenging, but also very easier because I had this support and I knew it was going uh, to to get better and I knew it was for clearing. So that. Was because that is the truth and let's be really transparent because for some of us our stuff does come up but it comes up and you've got that support network within mm -hmm. the group 
within myself and my team to help you and hold you through that. Yes. You've got all the tools of the light web because we come with all the light tools as well to help you navigate all of the stuff as it comes up. But it can feel like, oh my God, this is a lot, a lot. But we obviously mm-hmm. didn't put you off completely no. because <laughs> you decided to, to take your training further and actually become a light mm-hmm. web priestess. So tell us a little yeah. bit about your decision to become a light web priestess and take this training further uh, because that's a that's been an exciting journey too yeah I think it's it's right there just what I said you know I it was a little bit challenging to see um, all the things coming up and clearing them but I was so grateful that I had you and that I had the tools and that I learned all the tools and the, you know, the energy clearing that um, supported me through this and through what came after that, that really, I was so grateful for this that I wanted more. I wanted to know more. I wanted to, uh, by the time I signed up as a, the priestess, I think um, it had been maybe, what, two years? I don't remember exactly, maybe one one year or two years. At least, I think um, one and a half years, one, maybe. Something like that, yeah. Uh, so I had gone through a few rounds and, um, and really I wanted to work with it. But same as Lightweb, it was a calling. It, mm-hmm. I couldn't explain it. You know, I just knew it was... You know, at the time I was looking for um, new modalities to learn as well. So um, it felt like a good match, you know, that amazing. That I wanted to learn more. And, and I really remember vividly the um, um, activation, the priestess activation you did uh, with, with us. And, and it was really, really deep and really something that um um that I could feel and see very clearly and feel connected and it felt right it felt like same thing as the light web knows I have been there before it is and it's calling me back beautiful I love that I'm just getting goosebumps as you speak <laughs> I'm like ah oh. it's yeah I felt that as well and I mean the group that we took Um, into the light web and into the light web priestess activation one of the things that really came through from that group was this deep sense of we have all been light web priestesses before we have all um, served within this energy model and and worked with this on a, a very deep level and there was this very deep sense of what I can only describe as remembrance of remembering mm a piece and a fragment of our souls and remembering that this was something that we were part of um it's been a real journey because you're also in the temple with us and you do our healings and everything like that as well tell us how you've been able to use the tools of light web in your like day-to-day life and in your work and things like that because obviously being a priestess you're also licensed to use the tools for um your clients and and people so it's very flexible healing model we can mix it with mix and match it with what we already know and healing models that we already have so tell us a little bit about your experience there as well yes i used it with um hypnotherapy and um with clients and groups and i have used it to probably to channel some healing yeah and um i use the violet flame a lot Mm. of the the tools um the violet flame so this is one i have used many times uh in my life and in my work and yeah i think i'm using the violet flame like very very uh, well I can't say daily but very often I'm using it and um yes and the the other tools um the mindset tools you know the things like zero fox 
and uh, to protect my energy. Um, yes, these are the most useful in daily life. Yeah. So. <laughs> I find myself using at least one or two of the light web tools, like literally every day of my life, whether consciously or subconsciously. Mm. Um, and you talked a little bit about the agents of the universe and even that, just that deep understanding of what agents are. Oh my God, like it eliminates at least 50% of the drama of your life right there. <laughs> because you, exactly. you stop taking it so personally um and you start to realize like this is probably an agent just helping me yeah and understanding other people as well like yeah. seeing in other people around us that you know they're not like attacking us or they're not doing things to annoy us or it's just where they are now in their development in their consciousness and and you're maybe you're you're in a different place maybe and that's why we don't you don't really get on well on some topics but that's okay because we all have a different uh pace and that's okay and all is good and you know it really helps understanding other people yeah and and staying really in, I'd say in love, you know, in the, in the energy of love, um, with with the other humans <laughs> around us. Yes. Really. Yes, and I mean, I really feel like if we are looking right now, at, you know, we're recording this in 2023, but if we're like the game of life has literally cranked up a notch, it is harder than ever, I think. And I am so appreciative of the tools because it does help you to stay in that love vibration, that love frequency, um, instead of getting really sucked into the blame, the drama, the anger, the anguish, all of the things. And I mean, the pandemic down there has been a lot of stuff that's happened in the world and in society and um, and there's a lot of challenging stuff to navigate out there and I'm so grateful for light web in the fact that I can navigate some of those things with a lot more grace than um I would have been before I think I would have just been like I in a way it's kind of weird now because I obviously I'm coming from my place of privilege of being light web activated but I, I just like wonder how the other humans do it because I literally would be losing my mind right about now. <laughs> exactly. And something I have noticed though is that people who already live in, um, in a higher consciousness mindset but are not light web activated or not yet, <laughs> um, they have, they understand the, the same, uh, the framework uh, because they already, it's very similar to to many many of the teachings. Maybe I think we all are getting the same information, but absolutely from different sources. And I have met people with a similar higher consciousness mindset, really. And I've talked to them about the light web, and they're like, "Yeah, of course, it makes sense. Yes, that's wonderful." And and um and i believe that those people are called as well to or have been on the light web or um and we we can hear many many different teachings talking about a network of light and um you know and unity and things like that and i think we all um it, it means the same and it's fascinating that's really what i love about it because it's not just Joanna Hunter talking about the light web um, and and oh my my thing is better than yours and, no, and it's my no. teachings no it's uh, many people are talking about the same thing with different words but we all meaning the same and that's one what wonderful about it yeah I feel I mean it's one of Skylar's teachings which is say uh, one message many voices and I definitely feel being part of the light web it's very part of that mm -hmm. one of the things that I do feel though when I come across people who are already operating on that higher level of consciousness I find sometimes that they have a difficulty in maintaining that they swing to they swing more 
Yes. But when I come across my, when somebody has gone through light web, they kind of swing on the pendulum less, you know, they're not, they're not so maybe reactive is maybe the word mm. they're not like, you know, like that, because like, obviously if you have this awareness of higher consciousness doesn't stop the gnarly stuff of the world, like mm -hmm. getting you in a way sometimes, you know, yes. but I feel like with light web it, for me my own personal experience of light web and I know that many students it sort of stabilizes that need to swing on the pendulum quite so much yes exactly yeah it, it that's why I said yeah I think they are called as well to, yes to be part of it and to be um um to be part of it because their reaction when I when I speak about live web, their reaction is, oh, it makes so much sense. You know, they're not like someone as I was before in 2018. Mm -hmm. I, I would have been like, oh, okay, it's something, it's new information. But mm -hmm. not really, oh, it's not really new information to me. But wow, it makes so much sense. And I can feel the switch, you know, I can feel that it's something that's calling them yeah and probably that me talking to them was planting a seed on okay maybe maybe I could join you know or maybe um, um I could be part of it or I was part of it and it's it's um a remembering mm. beautiful I love that I love that so you work with the light web you do light web sessions and stuff so tell people um where they can find you elena on um on the internet where can they find you um on um, on the interwebs if they have been inspired by this conversation today mm -hmm. and they're maybe looking to get involved and things like that where can they find you well, I'm using um, mainly Facebook as a social media for the moment. And um, so they can find me there. And I have a website where um, I display my offers. And it's just uh, my name, elenateneriello.com. So you can find a link easily. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. One final question. If somebody was listening to this, they're maybe sat on the fence, they feel the calling of LightWeb, because that's very important that you feel that calling, that you're mm -hmm. feeling the calling, but you're like, I don't really know. Like, what would you say to a person like that? Um, that's maybe sat there swithering a little bit on that fence. Um, what would you say to them? I would say... <laughs> I would say go, <laughs> come, but um, yeah, I would say not to hesitate too long, but at the same time, you need to be called and you need to be ready and it's okay if it's not now, because if you're really cold, it's going to call you again and again. And yeah, for sure. I think light web is going to stay. So <laughs> absolutely. Um, yeah, you need to be, yeah to be cold and ready and um yes listen to your intuition because you know it and it's it's really um a remembering beautiful but, yeah I love that it is it's a remembering of our soul isn't it it's an mm -hmm. absolute remembrance of our soul and and feeling that energy thank you so much for joining us today I really appreciate it thank you